Hello everyone, this is Shonul Malik, your host for News Now, wishing you all a very happy new year. In this year's first news, we have some news on WikiLeak. It has a new owner. A popular bakery and cafe in Cushing Square, WikiLeak, the owner is officially announcing that it's selling the business to its chef of more than 10 years and a business partner, Jason Breed. With us today, we have Joanna Zuvilis with more news and information on this new update. Welcome, Joanna. Thank you, Shanul. Happy New Year. So yes, you you said it, the, you know, exactly what happened on January 3rd. Vicky Lee Boyajian, the owner of Vicky Lee's, which is like a corner bakery in Cushing Square. It's, it's pretty much a landmark there with its yellow awning. She sold it to her chef and business partner who's been there for more than 10 years. Uh, his name is Jason Reed. And What's going to happen, what people will see happen is in February, it will actually have a new name. It's, it's going to be called Oven Bird Cafe. And uh, Jason is going to keep a lot of the classics that, that Vicky Lee's is known for, like her chicken piccata and her crab cakes and, of course, a lot of her pastries. But he's going to uh, add his own personal twist to the menu. Uh, they'll still have prepared food, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in advance orders. Mm -hmm. Say the same. Uh, Vicky's passing on her recipes to, to Jason as well. Um, what a lot of people may not know about Jason is that he actually met his wife at Vicky Lee's. He started ah. there in 2009, and she was already an employee there. And that's how they met and they married in 2014. She'll, she'll also be involved in the business. He lives in Acton and he's been in the, the food industry all his life. He started as a dishwasher. He went to UMass Amherst. He studied um, restaurant tourism and hotel management. And uh, he worked in Vermont, Colorado. Then he came back to Boston. His father was a friend of Vicki Lee. They went to high school together, his, his dad. And Vicky Lee, and that's how we met Vicky Lee. And Vicky Lee took him on, and she, and he said that he is like a son to her. Uh, how soon are we expecting this transition? February, you'll start to see changes. You'll see, you know, maybe the new sign, Oven Bird Cafe, and um, you know, he's going to do some some changes. Maybe the the color scheme will change. He said he'll still keep the yellow, but it might be a different shade of yellow. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Well, that's good to know that the business is not closing, at least. And and um, he also is adding rotisserie chicken to the menu, thus uh -huh. uh, oven bird name. Ah, OK. I was wondering about the name. OK, mm -hmm. that sounds promising. Yeah. Moving to our next segment and not so good news, Belmont resident Mary Richardson, a legendary Boston broadcaster and former longtime co-anchor of Chronicle on WCVB Channel 5, died on December 30th. She braved a seven-year-old long battle with Alzheimer's disease. She was 76. Joanna, what more information do you have for us on Mary? Yes, Mary Richardson. She, she was a Belmont resident and she was... Um, best known for being the co-anchor on Chronicle since 1984. She was with Channel 5 for more than 30 years. But what a lot of people may not know about Mary is she was actually the very first female news anchor ever in Ooh. on a, on an 11 p.m. and a 5 p.m. newscast, first woman ever. And so she, she had a wonderful career with Chronicle. She got to do so many things that ordinary people wouldn't get to do. She, she even uh, co-hosted the annual Holiday Pops concert for the Boston Symphony and the Pop Goes the Fourth at the Hatch Shell. Uh, she's pretty known for that as well. She, she won many awards in her lifetime. She was inducted into the Massachusetts Broadcasters Hall of Fame for her decades of accomplishments. Uh, I can tell you that I had the honor of knowing her personally, and she was one of the most kindest uh, down-to-earth people mm -hmm. I've ever known. And um, her husband, Stan Levin, a longtime senior producer for Chronicle, uh, still lives in Belmont. He, he took care of her throughout the um, battle with Alzheimer's, and she leaves behind three children and two grandchildren. Well, thank you for bringing this new segment. She'll be missed, yes. Sharing yes. This, this legacy of her, uh, definitely. Um, moving on to one more closure in Belmont Center. Unfortunately, 
Uh, Jamaica's Jeff uh, is closing, um, again started by a Belmont resident, Jeffrey Lassiter, a former Central Intelligence Agency offer, officer and United States diplomat, believe it or not. Um, tell us more about it, Joanna. Yes, it is, it is unfortunate, Shanul, um, that this is another vacancy in Belmont Center soon after the closing of Starbucks, just that just closed recently. So it, it was about two and a half years that he was in business. He opened in October of 2019. And unfortunately, four and a half months after opening, COVID struck. And that really um, was a big blow for the restaurant industry and particularly him being a new, a new restaurant. But he stuck it out as long as he could. He said he, he, he said it's a minor miracle. He told me that he stayed open as long as he did. Um, it just didn't make financial sense to keep going. But he, he feels really bad, especially because he employed 14 Belmont High students. Yes. And uh, he felt more bad about, you know, having to break the news to them. Um, he also is proud of what he accomplished in the short time that, you know, he kind of became like the neighborhood pub in Belmont, which is what he wanted. But he just he just couldn't continue. Um, he, he gave to a lot of local causes like Mission 22, you know, cancer research, autism. Um, his goal was always to make customers feel welcome and comfortable in his restaurant. So anybody who ever experienced Jamaica Jeffs could, could probably tell you that, you know, he was always a, a very uh, energetic presence there. And he said he's not, you know, retiring, uh, even though he's retired officially, but he um He'll do something else because he likes to be busy at least 16 hours a day and 100 hours a week. <laughs> wow. OK, <laughs> we'll see what what uh, Jeff is up to next. He's, he's a Belmont resident and he still has two sons in the Belmont schools. Yeah, definitely had a casual and a fun vibe to it, the restaurant. Um, do we know what might be opening there? No, we don't. We don't. Okay. When is the last day or has it already closed? It's closed. Yeah, his last day was December 31st. Okay. Okay. Um, well, that's it for tonight. Today's news segment. Um, it's a mixed bag of news and wishing everyone a very happy new year in 2022. Thank you once again, Joanna, for being with us today and sharing the community update. Appreciate it. You're welcome. This is your host, Shunul Malik, signing off. See you next time.